<laughs> okay, okay. Oh man, how am I gonna get him back for this? Uh, okay, okay, I got the right response, but I just can't really type with this in my hand. I don't really have any work. <sighs> I have to build something, aren't I? Ah, there we go. Much better. Now, I can finally type out my response. I'm guessing if you're here watching this video, it's because you would like to see how I made this thing. So why don't we head on over to the shop and I will show you exactly how I did it. What are you guys doing down there? Come on, let's get inside the shop. Just kidding, I didn't actually punch in the real code. That was just gibberish for the camera. All right, give me one second to unload the truck and gather all the supplies we're gonna need for this project, and, uh, and then we'll get started. This is actually a relatively simple project in terms of the materials you're gonna need. So first off, you're gonna need some wood glue. Then you're gonna need two different types of woods. I've chosen to use walnut and ash, but you know, feel free to mix it up if you wanna do it a little differently. So if you've ever seen one of my videos before, I'm pretty sure you know what's about to happen next. I'm gonna clean up this wood and then I'm gonna rip it into a bunch of one by one blocks. So let's get into it. I know that was like 10 or 20 seconds for you guys at home, but that was like four or five hours of work for me. I am beat. Who knew prepping the wood would take so much work? Oh, all right, back to it. Okay, so this is the part of the video where I level with you guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do from here. So I have an idea. I'm going to start with a central three by three column. I've already kind of laid it out here to the side. I'm gonna glue that together as one glue up. Then I'm gonna make the base around it, do that as one glue up, and then I'm gonna make the top. But again, I've never done this before, so bear with me while I figure a few of these things out. Here's my working plan. I have three rows here. I'm gonna stack them on here like so. I'm gonna stack these ones on here like so, and then I'm gonna glue them all together. It's gonna be a little tricky, especially when it comes to clamping it, but I've done a couple dry runs and I think I can do it. Okay, so I know that looks like a crazy contraption and to be fair, it is a crazy contraption, but I think that's gonna hold and uh, I'm just gonna let that set up and then I'll probably have to clean it up a little bit. It's not quite perfect, but we made it guys, we made it.
check it out. The central column is now done and I get to move on to the next phase, which is trying to figure out how to make the bottom and the top of this. So, you know, small little details. This is what I'm thinking so far. I have four bar clamps that are clamped to these kind of sacrificial boards that are keeping everything compressed together. And it works. Like, this is all pretty solid now and I'm pretty confident that any glue applied to this would set up and everything would be nice. But, I think that this is a little too much to get glued properly in 30 minutes. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is kinda do like half of this. So I'll do the inner two rows and then I'll do the outer two rows. To make things a little easier for myself, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my glue in here just to extend the drying time. And yes, this is just my drinking water, but you know, sometimes you have to make sacrifices for projects. A little hitches with that plan didn't quite go together perfectly. Well, you know what? Looking at this now, the outside of it isn't too bad, so hopefully, I can salvage this. Okay, so I think I learned a little bit doing the base, and for the top, I'm just gonna do one layer at a time because. Two layers is a little too much to manage. I'm hoping just doing one layer will make it a little bit more manageable. As it turns out, it's way better to do just one layer at a time. Uh, my walnut layer is gonna be a lot tighter than my ash layer, but what are you gonna do, that's life. That's it, last layer, clamps come off. We are officially done the gluing and clamping phase. Perfect, well not perfect, I mean, that's a little bit of cleaning up here, but I like the way it's looking. Let's just leave it at that. While I was gluing everything together, I tried to do my best to keep all of the bottoms of these pieces flat to the table, so this surface would be nice and flat. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work out that way. I wasn't able to get it perfect. Um, so you can see some of these are a little higher and a little lower than others. This one over here is particularly bad. So what I'm going to do is use a router and a router sled to flatten this, and then I'll flip it over and flatten the other side as well. Step one of that process is just going to be to try and level this roughly, it doesn't have to be, you know, 100% perfect. Okay, so that's roughly level, so we're just gonna clamp this in place. Nice and strong, no rattles, perfect. Okay, so then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is attach two rails to either side. So you can see I've just clamped these two pieces of plywood in place. Really the only important thing about the rails is that they're perfectly flat and they're slightly above the surface of what you want to plane down. Now, I'm going to spend a little bit of time just adjusting these rails until they're perfectly level. Oh wow, I get that almost bang on right away. And the more time you spend dialing this in, the better. Obviously, the setup leaves a little bit to be desired in terms of ergonomics, but I think it's gonna work. All right, 
think that's the ash side done. And now we have a nice flat base. You can flip this over and do the same thing to the other side. So here, let me give you guys a close up look. So it's not exactly perfectly smooth, but it's definitely a lot better than it was. So I'll just take it the rest of the way from here with the palm sander. See, what did I tell you? Nice and flat, nice and stable now. So I'm gonna break this edge with a little round over bit on the trim rotor and then we can move on. Okay, this is looking pretty cool now. What do we have left to do? I have to give the whole thing a good sand and do a little bit of wood filling and some little gaps and then we're ready to move on to the finish. So I don't see any point in wasting any time. So that took a lot longer than I thought. I probably had about four or five hours into sanding the top and bottom of this project. It's just this end grain is really hard and really tricky to sand. But hey, we're done now and we are ready to move on to the finishing process. And speaking of finishing, if you haven't seen my last video, uh, five tips for a better finish on your next woodworking project, you might wanna check it out because I go more in depth into my finishing process and I give you, obviously, as the name implies, a bunch of tips along the way. So check that out and let's start applying some finish. That is it, that's the last coat on here. I don't wanna to touch it because it's still a little bit wet, but I'm gonna wait for this to dry. I'm gonna clean up the shop while I wait for it to dry, and then we're gonna take this thing back home. Ready to hop on my sweet ride and pedal on home. Now for the real test. Can I pick up this and hold the camera at the same time? I think I can. It's not bad, right? This thing only weighs like 30, 40 pounds. This is one of those times. Oh, I really wish I had another set of hands. Oh. All right, let's get this thing set up. I think right here, next to my armchair, is the perfect place for this little side table. Can hold my coffee in the morning while I talk trash to my friends online. And I don't know, I think it looks pretty good here. So, if you like this video, please get subscribed. I got a lot more content on the way. And if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below and I'll do my best to get to all of them. All right, see you in the next video. Peace. You know what the best thing about this thing is? I can flip it over depending on my mood. So, oh, if it's the ash side up, I'm having a good day. And if the walnut side is up, then you know I'm having a bad day and you should steer clear of me. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, in case you're wondering, this thing is a very strong. Wood glue is the craziest stuff. All right, see you in the next video for real.